welcome to the 3D Animation Hub. My name is Brian and today we're going to talk about breathing. Now usually people think that subtle animation, that's easy, that's easy. Big body movements, that's hard. Well, you're wrong, in my opinion at least. Uh, I think <laughs> that making a subtle animation seem realistic is a lot harder than making a big body motion and have that look okay. It's, it does seem like there's a lot more uh, movement when it's a big action, it's a full body action, but when you get down into it, when it comes to subtlety, we have an eye for it, especially if it's a human character. So if something seems a little bit off, you're instantly noticing that. And the subtle animation actually takes the cake for when it comes to realism and making the character look realistic. And so in this video, we're going to be dissecting breathing into a couple of consumable chunks. And we're also going to animate our own breathing from scratch. So have your handbooks ready and cue the intro. Just really quick before we actually hop in, if you weren't aware yet, we launched our website 2anime.ca. So if you're interested in an upcoming extensive Blender animation course that's aimed at beginner to intermediate level animators, providing you with everything you could possibly need to make a demo reel, you can head over to our site, sign up for a monthly newsletter where we share monthly progress updates on the course, as well as monthly animation tip infographics. So go ahead and sign up and be the first to access the early, early bird prices once the course actually comes out. All right, let's hop back into the video. Now the question becomes, what is breathing? So short answer is your lungs are filling up with air, which then expands and raises your chest as you're breathing in because your lungs are expanding. And so that causes your whole chest to expand and pretty much translate upwards. And so we're gonna be also animating the surrounding parts of your body to kind of react to that, to react to your chest. So for example, when you're breathing in and your chest does all that stuff, your shoulders also go up. And then when you're exhaling, your shoulders go down and uh, your neck also reacts with that. Your head reacts to your neck and it's all just very connected. So there are a few ways of approaching this in an animation that's already done. Um, we can look into that in some other videos where we can uh, implement some sort of animation layer where you have a breathing animation layer on top of whatever other animation you have. Now, this is just me sharing my thought process of animating breathing. I could be wrong in some ways. And if you have a better way of doing this, if you have a different way of doing this, uh, let me know down below, drop a comment down below and share with the rest of the class. Now, usually breathing lasts about four to five seconds on average. Um, because as humans, as average, we breathe 12 to 16 times a minute. Now, this obviously changes depending on the state of your character. If they're running, if they're panting, this will be bigger and faster. And if they're sleeping, it'll be slower and more subtle. And so let's go ahead and change our timeline to 120 frames, which is about five seconds. All right, let's bring the character's hands down. And so just keep in mind, this is just gonna be me talking about the basics of breathing. I'm going to just focus on maybe this area. I'm not going for a full polished animation here. I'm just trying to get the basics of breathing across to you guys and you guys can experiment with it afterwards. Okay, so let's say this is the pose we want for our character. You know what, let me bring this down because it's kind of bothering me. All right, sure, that's good enough. Let's say that's the pose we want for our character. Now. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to expand the chest. So as I mentioned, your lungs are filling up with air. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go to frame, let's say 50. And let's select the chest control and scale this out just a little bit. Again, it's a very subtle animation. You want it to just barely be noticeable when you're animating this, just to give your character a little bit more life. Now we can do a whole video on how to give your character more life aside from just breathing, but for now we're just gonna focus on breathing. So scaling it up, scaling it up first. Now I'm also gonna bring the chest up a little bit as it is being raised, just a very tiny bit. And here we can bring the arms up a bit as well. Or actually we'll touch the arms after. After we touch the shoulders, we'll go ahead and adjust the arms just so they're not stretching anymore. Um, another way to deal with this is to have the arms on 
if your character has the option, have them be lifted with the shoulders. So you don't have to run into this issue. But so, so far we've increased the size of the chest. We've raised the chest. Now lastly, we're going to rotate it depending on your character. Um, on my character, this is the X axis. I'm just going to rotate it up just slightly, just rotate upwards. So here's what we have so far. Okay, now. We're pretty much done with the chest. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and now bring the shoulders up once we reach uh, frame 50 here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up just a little bit. Bring that one up. Now, if you also have the options for your shoulders, you can also translate them up just slightly here. And again, now I'm gonna come to the arms and set some keys. Let's see if they're stretching. Yep, they're stretching a bit, so I'm gonna increase these. Bring these up. Now we got something like this. How's it looking on this side? Yeah, that looks good enough. So shoulder, so we got the chest spanning, translating, and then rotating. And when that's happening, the shoulders are also going up a little bit as well. They're rotating up and they're translating up just a smidge. Now, so since we rotate or since we um rotated the chest. The neck is going back a little bit here too. So I'm just going to counter animate the neck just a bit. To try and get it in that original position. I think that might be good enough. Yeah, there we go. So just to keep the head in the same spot, as you're breathing, you kind of go like, and your neck kind of goes forward and your head stays in pretty much the same spot from what I've noticed. So in this particular situation, I don't see the head needing a counter animate as well. But if your head does need to counter animate to try and get into the same uh, same position in space, then you can do so. I am going to rotate it just a little bit down. So now we got something like this. And now I'm actually going to go back to frame one, select all the keys. I'm going to copy this, come to frame our last frame, our fifth second, and set the key. Now if we play this real time, we have something like this. This is very subtle, very simple, and I'm going to touch this up just a little bit. I want her to hold that breath for a little bit longer. So I'm going to come to frame um, 50, copy, go to frame maybe 65, paste, and let's have this be i'm doing i'm pressing shift e here i'm going to um, place my cursor here and if you if you've seen my previous videos you'll know shift e is ex, is essentially a tweener and so i'm telling it i want frame 50 to be let's say 90 percent of frame 60. so now we kind of hold that breath in a little bit and i also want Frame 10, I want the breath to start a little bit later. So I'm going to change frame 10 to pretty much be what frame zero is. And then we're gonna come here to frame 110 and I'm going to make this pretty much uh, frame 120, very close to it. But uh, what I'm doing here is essentially easing in and easing out of the pose. I might adjust this as I go, but for now, let's just see how this looks. So let's press play. Character taking a breath and then settling back in. Just very subtle, but it gives the character a bit of life. And you mix this up with a couple of other subtle animations and you got yourself a character that's alive. Now I'm gonna make a couple of uh, quick changes, see how that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the chest rotate. I believe it's rotate X. And I'm going to delay this by one frame. So, I'm not touching the translate, I'm not touching the scale, just the rotate. So the, so the chest um, expands and translates, and then a frame later, it starts rotating. And so I'm just delaying the rotate here. Next, I'm gonna click on the shoulders, and I believe that is a translate Z. Same with this, just for the translate Z, I'm going to delay this by a single frame. I'm going to press on the neck and that's a rotate X. So I'm going to delay the rotate X of the neck by two frames. 
And again, we're just experimenting here. We're gonna see how this looks and then delay the head by a single frame. So let's see, it's another rotate X as well. Let's grab that and boop, one frame. Now let's see how this looks like. And there we go. That looks pretty good to me. It looks pretty fleshy, it looks uh, subtle enough, but it also reads. It's not really disturbing. If I had any other source of animation on the character right now, it wouldn't really be disturbing that. It would just be adding to that very, very subtly. So that pretty much concludes this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to smash that like button, hit the sub button, stay notified of future animation related videos. Make sure to check out our website. And before I end, I want to give a huge thank you to my beautiful Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your continuous support of my channel. And with all that out of the way, happy animating, and I'll see you guys in the next video.